broadcasting from Studio 300 on Cal Poly's campus. You're watching Mustang News. Hello, Cal Poly. I'm Allison Edmonds, and Mustang News starts now. Safer has some new confidentiality changes coming this year. In previous years, the on-campus organization, which provides an outlet for students who have been sexually assaulted, was required to report all incidents to Dean of Students, Jean DaCosta, who would then reach out to the student affected and offer support. Now, SAFER does not have to report any cases of school, which provides a completely confidential system. We don't, we don't report to Title IX, we don't report to anybody, it's completely confidential. So if the student just doesn't want anything, any emails, anybody else knowing but the student as well as the counselor, then it's a great resource. SAFER hopes students understand when they report to SAFER, they are not reporting to the school. Governor Jerry Brown vetoed a $100 million funding boost for UC and CSU systems this last Saturday. The line item measure AB 1476 was authored by Democratic Assemblywoman Nancy Skinner of Berkeley and was meant for deferred maintenance on campuses. The reduction, according to Governor Brown, is due to costs of extreme wildfires and property tax revenues being below budget estimates. California has seen a 26% increase in wildfires this year, with the King Fire, located east of Sacramento, costing the state over $53 million. Cal Poly students went to work cleaning the streets of San Luis Obispo this weekend. Students and other city residents joined in a neighborhood cleanup to celebrate Good Neighbor Day. This event is intended to bring the public together while engaging in community service. Cal Poly's ASI student government partnered with the city of San Luis Obispo and other organizations to help extend this event for an entire month. Something that is really important, I think, especially for this community because we have um, such a, a distinct community of college students and a distinct community of community members, and having those relationships with the community is really, really important for the health of St. Louis. The Good Neighbor event will run from now until October 25th. The Cal Poly women's soccer team hosted the University of San Francisco Sunday afternoon at Alex G. Spano Stadium in their last non-conference match. Forward Elise Kriegoff scored her fifth goal in the last four games on the way to a root of the Dons, 3-1. Forward Megan Abutin had two goals in three chances for the match, bringing her total to six goals on the season. San Francisco added a late goal in the final minute as the Mustangs took the match 3-1. The win puts the Mustangs at 5-6 overall. Kriegoff said the Mustangs will look to be more consistent and get to 500 as Cal Poly opens conference play this Friday at 7 p.m. at Long Beach State. Despite outshooting Drake, the Cal Poly men's soccer team ended their game in a scoreless draw in Alex G. Spano Stadium Friday night. Junior goalkeeper Wade Hamilton had three saves on the night to post his Big West leading fourth shutout of the season. Sophomore winger Justin Dillon recorded a career shot seven shot attempt for the Mustangs on the night. In the second half, Hamilton produced his final save in the 70th minute to preserve the tie. The Mustangs opened their 14th season of Big West action when they host number four UC Irvine Thursday at 7 p.m. at Spano Stadium. On Wednesday evening, spectators at the Vino Robles Amphitheater in Paso Robles had the unique opportunity to experience the electrifying sound of the mockingbirds with headliners Modest Mouse. First up to perform were Portland natives, the Mimicking Birds, who revved up the crowd with their trendy haircuts, desert folk dreamscape feel, and eight song set. Then it was Modest Mouse's turn. The band does not tour often, so this was performance was especially populated with fans. Modest Mouse played for over two hours and included both new and old material. They played 18 songs before coming back for an unbelievable six song encore to an energetic crowd. Let's take a look at your weather for the rest of the night and tomorrow. Monday we'll see a few clouds with a low of 56. Tuesday morning we'll continue to see some clouds as it warms up. It should be around 71 by 10 a.m. then clear up and continue to hit, heat up to a high of 79 degrees at noon. Tuesday night the low will be 57 degrees with a few clouds and 80% humidity. There's a 0% chance of rain this week which isn't surprising in the middle of this California drought we have. Taking a look at the rest of the week here in San Luis Obispo, it will be getting progressively warmer as the week goes on. We are looking at a high of 89 degrees this weekend, leaving a great opportunity to go to the beach. That's Mustang News for this Monday. You can tune in to our weekly half-hour broadcast. That's on Chartle Channel 19, UHTV Channel 7, and Campus Channel 2. You can also find constant broadcast coverage on mustangnews.net. Have a great day, Cal Poly.